Good morning, my beautiful Facebook followers. It's so good to see you in 2018. I haven't seen you since last year. Welcome. As you know, I am Susanna Kay, and today we are talking about why you should be grateful for procrastinating. I know, right? That does not sound like it makes any sense at all, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of gratitude people out there that are going to think that I'm absolutely nuts. But this is what works for me really well because I was born a natural procrastinator. I'm Susanna Kay. I am the owner of Spark Organizing and I love sharing productivity and organizing tips with everybody just to make the world a better place, make you happy with your home and make you smile more. So why should you be grateful for procrastinating? Let's first talk about the basics of gratitude. We have probably heard that gratitude helps open you up to opportunities, brings you more in line with your goals. Sometimes though, we can feel really disconnected from our goals. After that initial power up and excited feeling that we're all jazzed to do it, then we get into the meat of doing some of these things and we get dragged down. So we start to procrastinate. This is the time where it's a make it or break it moment. Because if you allow yourself to then add guilt on top of that, then you are sure to sink. You are sure to be walking through mud, trying to get that task done or that project completed. And it's just gonna be so much harder and less enjoyable. My trick that I use for myself, as I mentioned, I am a born procrastinator. I'm like a kitten on Red Bull who would rather do laundry than work on her bookkeeping. When I have those times where I have procrastinated and probably watched Gilmore Girls or did some laundry instead or somehow managed to do anything but what I'm supposed to be doing, my favorite thing is to then reframe it. I am then grateful for the time I took for myself. If I did laundry, then I will really focus for a couple of minutes on how grateful I am that my laundry is done, that that part of my life is in control, and that I took time for myself. Then, that guilt that I was feeling about not doing the project that I was supposed to be doing starts to subside. When you have the guilt that's still eating at you, then what you tend to do is keep doing what's making you feel guilty. If I don't become thankful for the time that I procrastinated, then you better believe I'm now binge watching Gilmore Girls and probably eating a frozen pizza and the project is nowhere near done. And then the next day when I start working on the project, I start off with a feeling of guilt. If I have been thankful for the time that I procrastinated, whether it was one episode of Gilmore Girls or Load of Laundry, or if it was a binge watching night, if I'm truly grateful for the time that I took for myself, then I do not have that guilt weighing me down and I can be just as excited as I was about the project before, but I can go with my energy. So maybe the next day, my energy is so much better for those administrative tasks that go along with that project. So I can use that energy towards that time that I need to do it. Sometimes, after feeling really guilty about procrastinating and then thankful, that inspires me to hop right back on board. Thank you, Dennis. Yes, hop right back on board and get started right then. As Dennis, with Toastmasters, I do this a lot with speaking because writing the speeches sometimes stresses me out because I feel like I need to have it all written down and in control so I get that massive writer's block. Sometimes I will simply be thankful for the fact that I get to do a speech and speak to people that want to hear about what I'm passionate about, but also thankful for the laundry that I just did, the Gilmore Girls I just watched, so that my brain can then relax, come back to the speech writing refreshed, and make it through writing this out. It's just been one of the best things that's worked for me, especially lately. After the holidays, I've had hit a major, major wall in trying to get back in the swing of things. So last night, I decided to make it a night for myself and be completely and totally grateful for it. And I went to bed and I fell asleep without worrying about that to-do list because I was not stressed about what I had not done. And then I woke up this morning and I'm excited to do the things that I decided to do. My whole to-do list no longer terrifies me because now I feel refreshed from my relaxing. Also, if you're feeling guilty about your relaxing, it's not very relaxing, is it? 
So the Gilmore Girls or the time, the pedicure that you went out for, you no longer feel refreshed. You simply feel guilty. This time you can actually make yourself feel refreshed from it too and get all of the benefits of taking that time for yourself because we need time for ourselves and it's okay. And everybody procrastinates and everybody does not do as much as they want to do and it is absolutely fine. So be thankful for all of who you are. Be thankful for the parts of you that are productive and on the ball and passionate and be thankful for the parts of you that need to rest and relax and recharge to hit it really hard when you return. I hope you found this helpful. For this and more tips about organizing your life, your home, and being more productive, please make sure to follow me. Follow me on Facebook at Spark Organizing. Sign up for our newsletter. Right now we have a free PDF about the top 10 decision-making questions that you can use as you declutter and make decisions on things in your home. And also check out our 365 project. If you're a DIY person or even if you're really organized and just want to declutter a little bit, this is the perfect project for you. Join us now before the prices go up in February at my365project.com and I will see you there. Have a beautiful day. I love you all and I will see you next week, Thursday at 11.